Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Right here in my hands is a hi-fi audio amplifier circuit based on the TDA7-94. to This circuit is capable of delivering up to 100 watts of clear and powerful audio output. It's ideal for hi-fi systems, home audio setups, or DIY amplifier projects. It provides excellent sound quality with low distortion and includes built-in protection features to ensure stable operation. Now I'm going to test the frequency response of the circuit using a sine wave generator with a frequency range from 0 to 100 kHz. On the right side of the screen is the sine wave generator and on the left is the oscilloscope. We'll use these to observe how the amplifier responds to different frequencies and monitor the output waveform. As you can see, even as the frequency increases up to 100 kHz, the output waveform remains a clean, undistorted sine wave. This is definitely a hi-fi audio amplifier you should consider building. It's affordable, delivers great sound quality, and is perfect for home use. I'll show you how to build this circuit step by step right after this short introduction to my sponsor, JLCPCB. JLCPCB provides easy, affordable, and reliable PCB and PCBA solutions, empowering electronics engineers to develop projects efficiently. With 19 years of PCB manufacturing expertise since 2006, running five cutting edge, in-house factories and serving over 5.48 million engineers in 180 countries and regions. Order PCBS from JLCPCB effortlessly. Upload your Gerber file to get instant quote and order in minutes. It's as easy as online shopping. PCB customization, component sourcing, stencil manufacturing, and high-precision assembly all in one place. Get 1 to 8 layer PCBS for just $2, efficient large scale production reducing costs and bringing you unbeatable prices. Quality and lead time is reliable. All in house production, ensuring quality stability and strict quality control in every process. Rapid turnaround, lightning fast PCB production in just 24 hours. Don't miss JLCPCB 6 layer PCB special. Get $30 off with a coupon and enjoy top quality 6-layer PCBS for just $5, plus to you enig finish and no engineering fees for via and pad. This information comes directly from the official TDA 7-9 for datasheet provided by the manufacturer. The TDA 7-9-4 is a powerful hi-fi audio amplifier IC capable of delivering up to 100 watts in bridge mode. It supports both single and dual power supplies with built-in protections like thermal shutdown, short circuit, and over-voltage protection. You can build several practical circuits with it, from simple mono amps, stereo setups using two ICs, to high-power subwoofer amps in bridge mode. It can even work with external transistors to boost output power. This makes it perfect for DIY hi-fi audio projects and home audio systems. This circuit was designed using Proteus. You can find the Proteus project file shared in the video description below. Feel free to download it and explore the full schematic and PCB layout. I'm now unboxing a brand new set of PCB, freshly delivered from my manufacturing partner, JLCPCB. Let's take a closer look at the quality, color, and finishing of these boards. They look really clean and professionally made. These PCB are designed for a hi-fi audio amplifier circuit, which I'll be assembling and testing in this video. As always, JLCPCB did an excellent job with the fabrication. The silk screen is sharp, the pads are precise, and the solder mask is smooth and consistent. Now that we've taken a look at the PCB, it's time to start assembling the components. I'll be carefully soldering the resistors, capacitors, diodes, and connectors to the board. Make sure to pay close attention to the orientation of the components, especially the capacitors and diodes, as their placement is crucial for the circuit to function properly. The 
Before we install the two TDA 7 to 9 for ICs, it's important to check the power supply on the board. Make sure that the voltages are correct and stable, ensuring that everything is set up properly to avoid any issues once the ICs are installed. I'm using a 200 West Power Transformer with an output voltage of 18 volts to supply power to the circuit. This transformer is ideal for providing the necessary voltage and current for the TDA 7 to 9 for amplifier circuit, ensuring that the SIRID operates efficiently and reliably. The power supply for the circuit can range from 15 volts to 35 volts, and as long as it's within this range, there shouldn't be any issues. This gives us flexibility in choosing a suitable power source while ensuring the TDA 7 to 9 for operates effectively without any risk of overloading or instability. Here is the voltage reading after connecting to the circuit, and as you can see, everything is within the safe range. We can now confidently connect the TDA 7 to 9 for IC to the board without any issues. The power supply is stable and the voltage is appropriate for the IC to function properly. I'm using a large heatsink to ensure proper cooling for the two TDA729 for ICs. As these ICs can get quite hot during operation, especially when driving high power, the heatsink helps to dissipate heat effectively and prevent any thermal issues. Now that the circuit is fully assembled and powered up, it's time to test it with a speaker. Let's see how well the TDA729 for performs in driving the audio output. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future projects. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.